1 Corinthians 11.14 says, Did not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. So the Bible's clear here that it's shameful for a man to have long hair. Jesus did not have long hair. Amen. There's no place in the Bible that even remotely insinuates that. It's a part of tradition, it's a part of culture, but it's not found in the Bible. Now, by itself, you read these verses and you say, okay, I see, it's shameful, but does that really mean it's a sin? But if you get the context of the chapter, he says in verse 3, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Did you get that? The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So who is he dishonoring when he prays or prophesies having his head covered? Dishonoring Christ. Okay? And he says here that the woman's hair is given her for a covering. Did you see that at the end of verse 15? If you look down your Bible, verse 15, it says, For her hair is given her for a covering. This is not teaching that women should wear a head covering like a Muslim. This is not teaching that it's wrong for a man to wear a ball cap. This is teaching that a covering of long hair is a glory to a woman. It's a glorious Amen. thing when a woman has her hair covered with long hair. If a man has long hair, it's a shame to him. Amen. And it's actually dishonoring to Christ for, for a man to pray or prophesy having long hair. Uh, it's disrespectful. And if a woman prays or prophesies having her head uncovered, it's disrespectful to her head, which is who? Who's her head? Her husband. Okay. And, and his head is who? Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not trying to see how close I can get to the line here on this. <laughs> well, are you sure I don't have long hair? You know, I mean, I don't think it's long. <laughs> you know, if you're doing that all the time, it's too long. <laughs> you're doing this... You know, that's the, you say, how long is long? That's how long. No, I'm just, you know, I'll put it this way. There's definitely medium length hair. I don't want to have it. I don't think women or men should have medium length hair. You know, whatever that is. And I'm not pretending to define that. I'm just saying there should be a clear difference between men's hair. I think if you have to ask yourself, is that long hair? You know what I mean? Then, then you're, you're in the wrong place. If you have to say like, you know, I don't know. You know, this guy over here, you know, is that short hair? If there's any doubt about it, I mean, you know, I look around the men in this room, there's no doubt on anybody's head, you know what I mean, is that long? Everybody said, no, it's short, you know, and I don't expect anybody to have my hair cut, you know what I mean? There's definitely a lot of leeway involved with long, a lot of leeway involved with short, but there should be a real serious... <laughs>